Elon Musk, the billionaire CEO of Tesla and SpaceX, has been making waves in the political arena lately. His super PAC recently announced a $1 million giveaway to encourage voter turnout, sparking controversy. Now, the Department of Justice, DOJ, has stepped in, issuing a stern warning to Musk's PAC. The DOJ's warning centers on concerns that the proposed giveaway could violate federal election laws. This situation raises critical questions about the role of money in politics and the fine line between legitimate political activity and illegal election interference. The outcome of this case could have far-reaching implications, setting a precedent for how campaigns operate and how money is used in the political arena for years to come. Musk's PAC defends its proposed giveaway as a novel way to boost voter turnout, framing it as a nonpartisan effort. However, critics view the move as a thinly veiled attempt to influence the election in favor of candidates who align with Musk's political views. The optics of a billionaire using his wealth to potentially tip the scales of an election are undeniably unsettling. The debate highlights a growing tension in American politics, the outsized influence of wealthy individuals and corporations on our elections. This case underscores the need for greater transparency and accountability in campaign finance. Americans deserve to know who is funding political campaigns and what their motivations are. At the heart of the DOJ's warning to Musk's PAC is a fundamental principle enshrined in U.S. election law. It is illegal to buy votes. The Federal Election Campaign Act, FECA, prohibits any person from making or receiving a contribution in connection with the federal election. The DOJ's warning suggests that they believe Musk's proposed giveaway could be construed as a contribution in connection with a federal election. The sheer size of the financial incentive, coupled with the timing of the giveaway so close to the election, raises red flags. If the DOJ determines that Musk's giveaway is intended to influence the outcome of the election, it could have serious legal consequences. The DOJ's warning to Musk's PAC carries the very real threat of legal action, with potentially severe consequences. This warning is not just a formality, it signals that the Department of Justice is taking the matter seriously and is prepared to act if necessary. If the DOJ finds that the PAC violated campaign finance laws, it could face hefty fines and even criminal charges. These violations could include improper fundraising practices, misreporting of donations, or exceeding contribution limits. One possible outcome is that the PAC could be forced to return all the money it raised for the giveaway. This would not only be a financial blow, but also a significant reputational hit, potentially deterring future donors. In addition to financial penalties, the PAC could also face restrictions on its activities, limiting its ability to raise and spend money in future elections. These restrictions could severely hamper its influence and effectiveness in the political arena. In extreme cases, Individuals involved in the PAC's operations, including Musk himself, could face criminal charges. This could lead to lengthy legal battles and even potential jail time for those found guilty. The potential legal consequences underscore the seriousness of the allegations and the DOJ's commitment to upholding the integrity of our elections. This case serves as a reminder that no one is above the law and that the rules governing campaign finance are in place to ensure fair and transparent elections. The controversy surrounding Musk's PAC is not an isolated incident. It is part of a larger, more complex narrative that has been unfolding for decades. It shines a light on a recurring theme in American politics, the struggle to balance the right to free speech with the need to ensure fair and transparent elections. This delicate balance is crucial for maintaining the integrity of the democratic process. Throughout history, there have been numerous instances where the use of money in elections has raised concerns about undue influence and the potential for corruption. These concerns are not new and have been a point of contention for both politicians and the public alike. One such example is the infamous Teapot Dome scandal of the 1920s, where government officials accepted bribes in exchange for leasing oil reserves to private companies. This scandal rocked the nation and led to significant public outcry and demands for reform. More recently, the Citizens United Supreme Court decision in 2010 has been widely criticized for opening the floodgates to corporate spending in elections. This ruling has had a profound impact on the political landscape, allowing for unprecedented levels of financial influence. These cases highlight the ongoing challenge of regulating money in politics, 
and the need for vigilance, transparency, and a commitment to upholding ethical standards. As we move forward, it is essential to continue the conversation about how to best protect the democratic process from the corrosive effects of money and ensure that the voices of all citizens are heard equally. The DOJ's investigation into Musk's PAC goes beyond simply enforcing campaign finance laws. At stake is the principle of one person, one vote, a cornerstone of a free and fair society. When financial incentives enter the equation, it creates an uneven playing field where the wealthy can exert disproportionate influence over the outcome of elections, allowing individuals or organizations to essentially buy votes through giveaways erodes public trust in the electoral process. This case serves as a crucial test for our campaign finance system and our commitment to protecting the integrity of our elections. A failure to hold Musk's PAC accountable could set a dangerous precedent, opening the door to more blatant attempts to influence elections through financial means. The controversy surrounding Musk's PAC highlights a broader debate about the role of money in politics. Critics argue that the current system gives too much power to wealthy individuals and special interests, allowing them to drown out the voices of ordinary citizens. Advocates for campaign finance reform propose solutions like limiting donations, requiring greater transparency, and providing public financing for elections. They argue that these reforms are necessary to level the playing field and ensure that all candidates have a fair shot at competing for office. This is essential for restoring public trust in government and ensuring that our elected officials are accountable to the people they represent. While the legal battle over Musk's PAC plays out in court, another battle is unfolding in the court of public opinion. Musk's supporters paint him as an innovator trying to shake up the status quo and get more people engaged in the political process. However, Critics view Musk's actions as a blatant attempt to buy influence and manipulate the outcome of the election. The public backlash against Musk has been swift and fierce, with social media abuzz with condemnation. The controversy has tarnished Musk's reputation and raised questions about his judgment. This case highlights the power of public opinion in holding even the wealthiest and most powerful individuals accountable. The controversy surrounding Musk's PAC serves as a stark reminder of the complexities of campaign finance law. Campaign finance laws are notoriously intricate, with numerous rules and regulations governing how money can be raised, spent, and disclosed. The line between legal and illegal activity can be blurry, especially when dealing with large sums of money and high-profile individuals like Elon Musk. This case underscores the need for greater transparency and education surrounding campaign finance laws. Individuals and organizations must be aware of the rules and regulations governing political activity and the potential consequences of violating them. The controversy surrounding Musk's PAC highlights the need for greater transparency in campaign financing. The public deserves to know who is funding political campaigns and what their motivations are. Without transparency, it is impossible to assess whether undue influence is being exerted or whether the system is being gamed to benefit special interests. Several reforms have been proposed to increase transparency in campaign financing, such as requiring all donors to be publicly disclosed and limiting anonymous donations. These reforms are essential for restoring public trust in government and ensuring that our elected officials are accountable to the people they represent. They would create a more level playing field and ensure that all voices are heard in the political process. The controversy surrounding Musk's PAC is a microcosm of a larger debate about the future of campaign finance in America. This issue is not just about one individual or one organization, it represents a broader struggle that has been ongoing for decades. At the heart of this debate is the tension between two fundamental American values, free speech and the right to free and fair elections. These values are enshrined in the Constitution and are essential to the functioning of our democratic system. Finding the right balance between these two values is essential for a healthy democracy. It requires careful consideration and thoughtful legislation to ensure that neither value is compromised. We must protect the right of individuals and organizations to express their political views